What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. I've been uh, working in my house and working on some side jobs and I've been using some tools that I got recently that we've talked about and I figured it'd be a good time to do some reviews and some updates on, uh, on some good stuff. And um, specifically, the three tools I'm going to talk about are going to be this PB Swiss, this pair of snap-on lineman pliers, and the snap-on screw gun. Three pretty high dollar items, but three tools that I have been just using the shit out of since I got them, and I'm so glad that I own them. Um, so today, what made me kind, what kind of inspired me to do this video was. I installed two ceiling fans in my house. I moved one ceiling fan to another room and installed a brand new one in the room that I moved that one from. And whenever you're doing something like that, it, you're liable to run into trouble. You're taking apart one and then moving it. And in my house, there's old, old cloth wires and old boxes in the ceiling so it can sometimes be a challenge but when i was taking apart that the ceiling fan you know taking off all the fan blades and all those little screws up there this little uh pb swiss insider is what it's called was just awesome and i have been using it just a ton because it's got such a good magnet and you got all those little screws on a ceiling fan and uh having a really strong magnet and a stubby kind of screwdriver to get up in those tight places on a ceiling fan. It works so great. And what I like to do is this thing, you can put two inch bits in this thing. And I keep, I love these ACR Phillips bits. Um, I think I bought these on Amazon a while ago, but they've got these grooves. Now that I've gone to the bits that have these grooves in them, the Phillips bits with the grooves cut into them, I can't go back. And they fit in here and I'll just, this one, if I need a stubbier one, this PB Swiss one that it came with is great. But I can put the two inch one in there and it still magnetizes it really well. Like, and it makes it a little bit longer and it's got a better bit on it. So, anyway, but you can get this and this back spins. So you can get in there and spin off little screws. I've just loved this thing. Loved it, loved it, loved it since I got it. Now, it was 50 bucks, which is crazy for a little guy like this. But I love the handle. Um, everything about it is just really great. And it comes with real high quality bits. Comes with some good little torques and stuff. I just find myself using this thing a lot lately. And I'm really glad that I bought it. Um, you know, you guys that have been watching the channel for months or even a year, it's been over a year now. I hope you're not thinking, oh man, real world tool reviews has gotten gotten too fancy on us. He's got all this PB Swiss and snap on and stuff. Uh, I'm aware that this stuff is expensive, but I think it's worth it. I really do. If you are serious about your work, I think this stuff is worth it. And the, the next thing is these right here, the snap on lineman pliers. These things punch way above their weight. I mean, these things cut better than some nine inch lineman pliers that I've used. Um, the jaws are just amazing. They're like, they're great. And they're awesome to keep in this pouch. So this is my electrical pouch that I use when anytime I'm up on a ladder doing a ceiling fan or a light fixture, we've talked about this thing before. And, um, I like to keep just like, I keep it light and I keep small tools in it. Like I keep these, uh, multipliers in here for wire strippers and needle nose pliers and always got to have a little trim screwdriver a little little flathead and then i keep this multi cline which i'm liking but might be time for a different one I'm, I'm just not crazy about this one for some reason um might have to switch up the multi screwdriver game but this is an occidental leather pouch and i love this thing a lot but this little pair of linesman's pliers is so great for just twisting a couple 14 gauge, oops, excuse me, a couple 14 gauge wires together. Like 
what I was doing today, the, the cloth wires were so brittle and jacked up and I was afraid I had to tape them because the cloth was all deteriorated. I don't know if you guys have ever worked with cloth wire, but it can be a challenge in old houses like mine. And I wrapped it all up the best I could and separated the hot and the neutral because I was afraid they were going to touch and, and short out on each other, you know, while, when I stuffed it back up into the box. So I ended up getting it where I wanted and then making pigtails to come out. So I had to twist those pigtails together on that 14 gauge wire up in the box. And this gives you so much more control and it's just really nice to use up on a ladder with one hand, you know, a lot better for that situation than a full size pair of lineman pliers, you know, like it's crazy the, the difference there. And these ones cut damn near as well as these ones. And they just punch way above their weight in the cutting and grabbing. Like I had to cut a machine screw because the machine screw I had was too long. Um, it was touching the top of the box, old metal box. So I had to cut it a little bit. And this thing, I mean, they're short little cutters, but it's like it makes such quick work of a machine screw it's ridiculous so i have been more impressed with this pair of snap-on pliers than maybe any of my other snap-on pliers and i have other ones um i don't know if i these ones these needle nose are also some of my favorites of all time the first pair of snap-on pliers i ever got but Man, these green little little green lineman pliers are extremely impressive, and I cannot recommend them enough. I just think that if you can afford, they're about fifty bucks. Uh, they're you know they're worth every bit of fifty bucks. These two tools right here is a hundred dollars, and it's worth it. Like if you're a maintenance guy, it's worth it. I've been using them all the time on little jobs, going into apartments and just doing a little quick little something, taking apart an appliance or whatever. Um, I'll take this and I'll take a little bag and this is in it and I'll put it in my pocket and walk around the place and, and do little things. A good magnet. I can put different bits in here. It's just awesome. And then the last thing is the snap on screw gun, which I've just, I, I, I cannot tell you how much this thing just will change your life if you can part with the money now i got a good deal on it but it was still expensive and it was worth it i use it just about any time i do a job i use this to take things apart and put them back together you know putting all the fan blades on today i you know like i've got i used to never use like the torque settings and stuff on on a screw gun like this but i've gotten to where i'll set the torque and get it to where it tightens exactly where i want it and then just keep doing all the ones on a project, you know, uh, of course it's air conditioner season. I put nut drivers in here and just take apart panels on, uh, furnaces, air handlers, condensing units, all that stuff. And this thing is just a workhorse and you can drill holes with it really good. I've had this long Phillips been bit in here today just cause that was good for getting up in that box. But, um, I can put nut drivers, any type of stuff like that. And then the other thing is you can drill holes with it because you can put it on, like right now it's on the high torque setting, low speed setting, and you can put it in speed two and it's very fast. Like you can, you can really drill a hole in wood, you know, it's like no problem. And the thing that I love the most is just like, it's got so much control with this rocker trigger backwards, forwards. But like if you put it in speed one, especially. That's how slow you can make it go. The motor is just super smooth. And you can gradually
it is just uh, it's just the Cadillac of screw guns. I I I cannot say enough good things about it. It's ergonomic. It's not the smallest, most compact one in the world. It's just the best feeling, uh, best combination of power, size, and usability and uh, durability. I think that there is out there. And you can get these magnetic boots. So you know. You got a bunch of screws you're working with. I like to just stick them on here and I'll just roll around, put another screw in, boom. Or if I'm taking a bunch of screws off of a panel or whatever, stick them right here and I'm good to go. So for a, for a service work guy like I am, maintenance guy, this is just the best. And I've started to do a lot, a lot of work in my house too. Uh, I don't know if you've ever, you guys that have ever had kids, when you have a, a newborn baby come in the house, you start realizing all these changes you got to make and stuff you got to do. So that's what I've been doing a lot of in my house recently. And uh, stuff like this just makes like, makes that just a breeze. So, but anyway, it's, uh, it ain't cheap, any of this stuff, but good stuff ain't cheap usually. Now. We are going to talk about in the next video some stuff I got for stupid, stupid cheap, and I'll uh, I'll even give you a little bit of a sneak sneak peek. So this right here, you see this in a store, like I always say on my tool haul videos. You see this in a store, and you're like, oh look, there's a shitty old box, you know. But if you're me, you open it up, and you find a full set of made in the USA Craftsman sockets every single piece is is here plus some very interesting extra pieces and we will talk about that coming up in the next video but i just wanted to do a little bit of an update on some of the tools that i bought recently i don't usually like to do videos just reviewing one tool because I, I just think that's boring even though the show is called real world tool reviews i like to keep it we talk about multiple things in one video, you know, just because it, I think it's more entertaining. So this is a review of the Snap-on screw gun, the CTS 861, highly recommend. And we're going to do a comparison video against the Bosch one of these days soon. Uh, the Snap-on 57AHLP 7-inch lineman pliers. Uh, Wow, they're just they're just fantastic. And then the PB Swiss uh, 6464. It's called the Insider Pro Pocket Insider, I think is what it's called. PB Swiss Pocket Insider. I just highly, highly, highly recommend all three of these tools, and I've just loved using them. So if you are uh, if you can afford it, these are some good ones to get. So anyway, thanks for watching.